Hello and welcome. I'm Grace here at Central Wellness. And today's practice is following on in our self-care series. And we're looking today particularly uh, across the shoulders. And we're looking at the movement around the shoulder blade, the scapula. And <clears throat> it's often an area, the shoulders, the neck, where we contain a lot of stress. And stress is our response, physical, mental, or uh, emotional stimulus that provokes a reaction in the body. And often that's in a very habitual way where we hold patterns of tension from the nervous system held within the body. So we're going to start with what we call tension breaths. So whether you're cross-legged, kneeling, comfortable seat, and we're just going to press the hands down onto your thighs. And as you inhale, I want you to draw your shoulders up towards your ears and straighten the arms. And in that action, lifting the shoulders up, holding your breath. And then as you exhale, I want you to slowly feel that weight of the shoulders dropping down. You're holding that tension and then releasing, flushing it through. Let's do that again. As you inhale, I want you to press down through the hands, drawing the shoulders up, straightening his arms as if you're containing all the tension in the body into one place. Pushing down, hold your breath. And then again, that feeling of just dropping down into the seat, your sitting bones, the shoulders drop, releasing down. One more time, deep, full breath in. Hold, containing the stress in one area in the body. And exhale, flushing, releasing, and just dropping down. Softening the shoulders, the belly, drawing down into your seat, drawing up to the crown of the head. Now just rest your hands onto your lap, palms facing up. And sit for a moment, just conscious of the body, conscious of your breath. Conscious of our intention together in our practice to promote well-being. And cultivate this attitude of kindness, of non-judgmental awareness. Of how our needs can be met through our practice, how we can support ourselves. And then having the courage and the kindness and the love to listen to those needs. Take a deep, full breath in, lifting the hands into prayer position, lifting the heart and bowing the head as you exhale down into the heart. Maybe set your own personal intention for practice today. Let's lift the gaze. Okay, so I'm actually going to turn uh, behind to do this, but stay, you stay as you are seated. I'm going to start by looking at the movements of the shoulders. So I want you to bring your arms <clears throat> down by your side and make a fist. So it cre creates a little bit of muscular tension here. And then bend the elbows and bring your hands in those fists onto the lower back. Good. And we're going to start by inhaling, drawing and elevating the shoulders up towards the ears. Then we're to squeeze your shoulder blades together. So we're retracting. Keep that retraction and depress your shoulders down. Good. Keep the depression, but draw now the shoulder, head of the shoulders forward. So opening it back of the ribs. Elevate the shoulders up. Retract. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Depress. And protract. One more time. Nice big circle. Feeling the full range of the movement in the scapula. Retract. Depress. And protract. Good. Now let's take the opposite. Squeeze the shoulder blades together again. Retract. So you can elevate. Draw forward. And then depress down. Good. Retract. Squeeze. Elevate. Protract, so feel that opening in around the back of the shoulder blades and then depress down one more time. Retract, elevate, protract, and depress. 
Good, now release, shake out the arms a little bit. Feel a little free around that area. Let's come over, start over onto hands and knees. Move any props out the way, spread your fingers wide. Crease of the wrists facing forward. Let's take a breath in, just come into movements along the spine, cat-cow arching. And then exhale, curling and rounding in. And really focus on the area that we're looking at around the shoulders. So here, here, feeling that lift as you press into the hands, lifting the back of the ribs. Inhaling as we draw the shoulders back and down, that retraction to lift the chest. Exhale, curling and rounding. Inhale, lengthening and lifting. And this time on your exhale, let's take it up and back into down dog. So in down dog, spread the fingers wide. And notice here in down dog that the arms are forward of the shoulders. Therefore, to create that action, we've got to create a broadening through the back of the body. So you want to feel, again, that nice opening through the back of the ribs. Pressing back into the hips, weight down into the heels. So those actions create a foundation of stability. Take a deep, full breath in. A long breath out. Inhale, bend your knees, look past your hands. Meet forward, front of the mat. Inhale, straighten the legs, lift the chest, look forward, flat back. Exhale, knees bent, chest to thighs. And just take a moment in a very easy forward bend. So you can let the head drop down. You might hold on to the biceps or the forearms, just releasing a little around the lower back with you wriggle the ribs away from the pelvis. Let the head drop down. Settle into your ujjayi breath, just in through the nose. Out through the nose. Audible breath. And then bring your hands again to your shins and lift halfway to flat back. So what I really want to focus on in the practice is this understanding that when we move the arms, the scapula, the shoulder blade also has to move. So here the hands are pressing down onto the shins or you're tenting the fingers. So arms are back, therefore shoulders are back away from the ears, nice and long through the neck. Feel a slight retraction, squeeze the shoulder blades together to lift the chest. Now inhale, bring the arms out to T position and start to feel that broadening as the arms lift. They're not over the head yet, so still shoulders away from the ears. But you can start to feel that movement around the scapula. If it feels a lot for your back, do bend your knees. But we're going to start to bring the arms now forward into that big range of movement. So you might be able to bring them all the way forward. They might stay a little bit more out on the Y position. But start to feel in that action that the shoulder blades move. They have to turn and elevate to let the shoulders lift. Now press through the feet and slowly come all the way up to standing. So as we reach the arms up over the head in standing, again, the shoulders need to lift slightly. And we can find that lovely length all the way up to the fingertips. Turn your palms down and exhale as we draw the arms down. Feel that descending of the shoulders down, really light, releasing all the way down. Good. Let's take a couple of rounds through Surya Namaskar to get warmer. So this variation, we're going to hook the thumbs, bend the knees, and as you inhale, sweep the arms up and back, lifting the chest, straighten the legs. Exhale, sweep the arms down, interlace the fingers and the lower back. Reaching the arms over the head, nice and long through the neck. Breathing in and breathing out. Inhaling two. Exhale. Inhale, release the hands, bend the knees, lift the chest. Step right leg back into high lunge. Inhale, so I'm going to lift to the chest. Exhale, plant the hands, step back into down dog. Good, inhale, roll forward into plank pose. Gaze forward, chest forward, exhale, bend the elbows. Take the first round all the way down to the belly. Inhale, release the tops of the feet, roll up into, sh into cobra. Shoulders away from the ears, press into the hands. Seat to heels, lifting up and back. 
down dog, full deep breath in. So remember, arms are forward. Try and get that feeling of broadening across the back of the ribs. Biceps drawing towards the ears. So really feel that firmness through the arms, lift to the hips. Inhaling, right leg lifts, modifying hands and knees. Draw the right knee into your chest, look forward. Step the right foot forward. Bring the back knee down, release your back foot. We're going to inhale, sweep the arms forward. So as you draw the arms forward, feel the movement around the shoulder blade. Reaching the arms up over the head, feel the shoulders lift. And as we circle the arms, exhaling back and down, feel the shoulders descend, shoulder blades squeeze together. Good, inhale, draw the arms forward, broaden through the back. Rising the arms all the way up, lifting the shoulders. Exhale, circling the arms back and down, shoulders descend. One more time, big breath in. So we can feel that full range of the movement around the shoulder joint. Exhaling. Inhale, bring the hands forward, frame the front foot, lift the back knee. Step forward, meet front of the mat. Bend the knees, hook the thumbs. Inhale, sweeping the arms all the way up. Standing, lift the chest. Exhale, bend the knees, sweep the arms back. Interlace the fingers over the head. Breathing in one. Exhale. Inhaling two. Exhale. Inhale three, bend the knees, release the hands down. Step left leg back, high lunge. Inhale, the lift of the chest, open the throat. Exhale, plant the hands, step back into down dog. Inhale, roll forward into plank pose. This time, half all the way down through chaturanga, elbows bent. Inhaling, whether a cobra, up dog, arms straight. Exhale, tuck the toes, lift up and back. Down dog, full deep breath in one. Exhale. Inhaling two. Exhale. Inhaling, left leg lifts, draw the knee into the chest, step the left foot forward and back knee down. Again, inhale, reach the arms forward, all the way up, exhaling, circling round. Good. Inhale. Rise up, exhale, descend down. One more time. Inhale. Chin the arms up, lift the chest, exhaling, squeeze the shoulder blades together, bring the hands forward, frame your front foot, lift the back knee, we'll meet forward, front of the mat, feet together, bend the knees, hook the thumbs, inhale, rise up, lift the arms up over the head, so lift through the back, and then circle the arms all the way down to your side, descending, shoulders draw down. Feel that kind of flushing out in the shoulders, down the arms to the fingertips. Good. So from here, might need a block. So if you're going to use a block, bring it over to the left side of the mat. But we're going to step the right leg back about a leg length distance. And if you have or don't have or just have an imaginary line down the center of the mat, bring your left foot slightly over to the left side of the mat. So you can bring the right hip, the right shoulder forward. Press into your back heel, reach the arms behind, interlace the fingers. So the arms are drawing down, therefore the shoulders draw down, we squeeze the shoulder blades together. Feel the lift of the chest as you lift up and back. Press into the right thigh, inhaling. As you exhale, we're going to come forward with the chest. Draw the left hip in and back. Good. And we're not going to come any further forward than parallel to the floor here. So keep the chest lifted and feel that work at the back of the body, squeezing your shoulder blades together. Slight tuck of the chin long through the neck. So try not to drop the head down to support the lift of the chest. So it's taking quite a lot of work, engaging the core, drawing the inner thighs together, working the left hip in and back. I'm going to release the arms and bring them again out to the side. And again, feel that movement through the shoulders, reaching to the fingertips. Start to extend the arms forward. Be mindful of the back. Feel the movement again as you have to elevate 
and rotate the shoulder blades to reach the arms over the head. Chest parallel. Keep working from the ground up. Press through the feet. Inhaling, squeezing the thighs together. Exhale, we come all the way up to stand. Arms over the head, stand tall. And then drop the left arm down by your side. Bend the elbow and bring the left hand onto the lower back. Drop the left shoulder down. Reach up on your inhale, a little taller through the right side. And we're going to start to draw again the chest forward. Right arm draws over the head. So again, see if you can get that elevation and reach through to your right fingertips. Draw back into your left hip. Full deep breath in. And then we're going to exhale and twist over to the left. So right hand to the outside of the left foot, whether it's to your block, to the floor. If you don't have a block, maybe to your shin. But try and keep the chest parallel to the floor so you're not collapsing forward. Start to rotate to the left. Draw your left hip in and back and possibly extend the left arm up towards the ceiling. Breathing in one. Exhale, lovely flushing out here of the twist. Exhale. Breathing in two. Exhale. Keep working left hip in and back, revolving the chest up towards the ceiling. Slowly bring your gaze down, bring your left hand to your left hip. Press through the feet. Right hand to the right hip, and we come all the way up. Good to standing. Step right foot forward, left leg back. Try and get the same alignment. Right foot slightly over to right side. Hands to hip points. Right hip draws in and back. Left hip, left shoulder forward. Press into your back heel, interlace the hands. You can take a different class of the interlace. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Draw the shoulders down as the arms reach down, lift the chest. Inhale. Exhale again, come forward. So think of lengthening here out of the lower back. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, support the lift of the chest. Draw the right hip in and back. Take a few deep focus breaths. Inhale, sweep the arms out to the side, palms facing down. Good. Reach the arms forward best you can, so they don't need to come together. Keep them out wide. Feel that move around the shoulder. We're not trying to squeeze the shoulder blades together here. Good, nice and broad through the back. Draw your inner left hip forward, right hip back. Press through the feet. Inhale. Come all the way up to standing. Stand tall, lift the chest. This time, right arm draws down by your side onto the lower back, palm facing out. Drop the right shoulder down. Inhale, reach taller through the left side. Press into the left heel. Reach the right arm forward. Again, draw the shoulder forward. So you want as much space as you exhale and twist to the right. Right hand, whether it's coming to shin, Block or the floor, chest is lifted. Right hip draws in and back. And then possibly extend the right arm up. Breathing in one. Exhale. Breathing in two. Exhale. Breathing in three. Keep pressing into your back heel. Gaze down, right hand to right hip. Press through the feet. Slowly come all the way up to standing. Good. Step the left foot forward. Meeting the right, feet together. Inhale, bend the knees, sweep the arms forward. Chair pose. So in chair pose, again, arms are forward, nice and broad into the back. Pressing, if you can, the palms together, arms apart. Sink a little deeper into the hips, lift the chest, breath in. Exhale, bow forward, chest to thighs, tucking the chin. Inhaling halfway, lift length and flat back. Exhale, bow forward. Inhale, bend the elbows, bend the knees. Step or hop back through our vinyasa chaturanga. Inhaling, cobra up dog. Exhale, meet back into down dog. Good. Again, forward on your inhale, plank. To the belly, exhale, all the way down. Release the tops of the feet. Draw your heels towards each other. 
Tuck the chin and feel the weight down onto the forehead. Release the arms down by your side. And we're going to turn the palms up for this variation, drawing the shoulders away from the ears. Keep the forehead and the tops of the feet down. And as you inhale, lift the arms up, palms facing up, high as you can. Full breath in. Now make again that fist. Feel kind of muscular tension engagement. We're going to bend the elbows and bring the fists together, hovering just above the lower back. Breathing in. Good. Breathing out. Inhale, extend the arms, lift them high, release your fist. And then slowly release the arms down. And really feel into that release from the tension. For the flashing out, letting go. Let's do that two more times. So inhale, arms lift, palms facing up. Make your fist. Bend the elbows, try and bring the fist to touch, hovering off the lower back. Don't hold the breath. And then extend the arms, lift, release the fist, and release. Take that moment in the release. Exhale. Last time, inhale, palms face up, lift the arms, make your fist. Bend the elbows. Good. Hover the arms. Extend. And release. Exhale it out. Let the shoulders drop. Good. Bring your hands back midline of the chest. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Roll up into cobra. So feel here in cobra. Shoulders are back and down, so arms are back from the body. Squeeze your shoulder blades together, get the lift of the chest nice and long through the neck. Now, if you want to start to lift the chest up, keep the elbows bent, shoulders draw down, and then you can start to press through the hands, draw the shoulders down, lift the chest, lift the thighs, lift the knees, coming into up dog. Good. So there's that real pressing down, shoulders draw down. Press into the hands. And then we'll drop the knees down. Come up and to a tabletop. Slowly into our cat stretch, tucking the chin, arching the back, and then drawing back hips to heels. Settle for a moment. Again, just let the arms drop down whether you support the head. And slowly deepen the breath. And just feeling the effects, consciously working with the body and the breath. Slowing down. And just inhale again, come up onto hands and knees. Inhaling, extend and open the right arm up to the side. So you feel the tip of the right shoulder blade drawing into the midline of the spine. And twist across the chest. And then we're going to thread the right arm underneath the left. And come down onto the side of the head, maybe support with a block. And really try and draw that right arm through. So now we get that broadness again into the back of the ribs, around the scapula. We extend the left arm forward, press into the left hand, so left arm is forward, shoulder moves forward, draw back into the left hip. So really feeling the implications of our actions on the mat. You know, when we move one area of the body, it has a ripple effect in another. <clears throat> so everything is integrated. And the more we have this understanding of how we're moving, where we're holding patterns of tension, the more skillful we can be in you know, addressing areas that are causing us any difficulty or discomfort. Again, with that attentiveness of kindness, of compassion. Bring the left hand back down underneath the shoulder, thread the right arm back through, come onto hands and knees. Inhale, left arm extends up to begin with. And then thread the left arm underneath the right, turning to the right, support the head. You draw the left arm through. 
The right arm here is going to extend forward and feel the action of the shoulder reach to the right fingertips, draw back into the right hip. Slow the breath and then draw the breath down into the belly. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Right hand presses down, thread the left arm back through, come on to hands and knees. And we're just simply here, bring the feet to one side, bring the hips down, and bring the legs forward. Start in Dandasana, extend the legs, lift the chest, nice tall spine, press the hands down. Same action as we have in, in um, up dog. So as you press down through the hands, Draw the shoulders down, so arms are down. Nice and tall through the spine. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Lift the chest. Now as we inhale, reach the arms out to the side and the arms start to come over the head. Again, feel that broadening in the back. The rotating and lifting of the shoulder blades. Inhaling. And then we'll exhale, hinge forward at the hips. Bring the arms forward and they might land to the feet or further up the legs. But arms are forward, so we've got to get that broadening in the back as the head drops down, the elbows drop. And just settle for a few breaths. Inhaling one. Exhale. Inhaling two. So you can feel the breath broadening around the lower back and the ribs. Exhale, belly draws in and back. Inhaling three. Exhale. Inhale, lift the chest, gaze to the toes. And we'll slowly come up to sit. Bend the knees, bring your feet flat and just roll slowly down onto your back. To the weight of the skull. As you release down, just take a moment to kind of feel the residue of the work that you've done in your practice. Any more awareness around a certain area of the body. And that releasing, freeing the energy, the tension. So we're going to walk the feet in fairly close to the body. First round, we're going to take bridge pose. Arms come down by the side. So as the arms draw down, the shoulders draw down, the chin slightly tucks. Press through the feet. And as you inhale, begin to lift the hips up. Glute engagement to lift and stabilize the legs, press through the feet, chest towards the thighs. And let's see if you can walk the arms underneath you here. So you're really squeezing your shoulder blades together, again, to support the lift of the chest. Now, if you can, bring your hands to your hip points, fingers facing up, so thumbs underneath the body, and lift a little higher. Good. So you really feel that nice broadening across the chest. Now keep that lift, drop your hands down, interlace your fingers, good. So shoulders drawing away from the ears, nice and long through the neck, working through the feet, the legs, the glutes, the hamstrings, keeping the pelvis lifted and stable. Big deep full breath. And then on your next exhale, release the arms out to the side. And slowly descend all the way down. Take a deep, full breath in. A long breath out. Letting that settle. You can bring the feet wider and just knock the feet a little side to side. Letting the knees just drop. And then feet wide, let the knees just knock into center. Reach the arms up towards the ceiling, so for these zombie arms, and just lift the right shoulder, the right fingertips up as if you're trying to touch the ceiling here. And again, feel now the broadening across the back of the ribs. And you feel in that effort and in that action, it's not just the shoulder lifting, you feel it in the ribs, down into the right hip. And then drop the right shoulder down. As we lift the left arm up, feel the left shoulder 
lift and then release and drop down. Do that one more time to the right, inhaling. So there's an effort in that action and a release, dropping the shoulder down. One more time, left arm reaches up. Not lifting the head, we're not straining in the neck. Keep the weight at the back of the skull and then release and drop down. Bend the elbows, hold on just above or below the elbow and just drop the elbow side to side. You just kind of windscreen wiping side to side now with the elbows and start to bring them up towards the forehead, just loosening and freeing and then bring them back over the face, side to side action, in line with the chest, until finally they drop all the way over to the right, as best you can. And then we're gonna drop the knees towards the left, so we're taking a twist. Full deep breath in, long breath out. Maybe your feet are wide, Inhale, bring your feet flat, knock the knees back together and bring the arms back to center. Inhale, drop the elbows over to the left. Drop the knees over to the right. Full deep breath in. Long breath out. So we're not lifting the head. You can turn the head away from the arms. No straining in the neck. Feel a broadness in the back and the shoulders, that range of the movement, so important to keep as much movement as we can in all directions, in all planes. Bring the feet back flat, knees to centre, drop the knees together, constructive rest, bring the arms back to centre and then bring the arms out wide. Take a full deep breath in, for the breath from the chest, Cross the arms down to the fingertips and then just slowly descend the arms down the mat, drawing the shoulders a little away, lifting up and then dropping the arms down. If it's comfortable for you, extend the legs or place something underneath the backs of the knees. Just roll the legs out a little, the feet drop. I'm going to take one more big, full tension breath in. So we need to inhale, make a fist with the hands, squeeze the toes, squeeze the legs, belly draws in, scrunch up your face, tight, 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 hold tight. Feel into tension. And then release the tension. And feel that flushing all the way out. Take a breath in, let the breath draw all the way down the arms to the fingertips, a little space around the palms. Feel the breath as you inhale down into the belly and the chest. Exhale, belly draws down and in. Feel the weight down the leg. All the way to the feet, to the toes. Cross the face. Slack around the jaw. Eyes heavy. Let's find that integration of tension and release. Settle for a few breaths into stillness. Mind gets distracted, just gently observe and draw it back to your breath.
And then before you even begin the movement, just sense all the way down to your toes. Can you sense all 10 toes, each one individually? Mind's eye, trace each toe. Now do the same with your fingers. Not moving, just sensing each finger individually. And a little bit of movement to your fingers and toes. To the way to the back of the skull, maybe turn the head a little side to side. We're always welcome to stay longer. Or if you're coming with me, allow the movement just to be organic with your stretch or draw your knees in. Take your time to come over to one side. Head heavy, body lifts. Find your seat as we began. Sit nice and tall. And just take these last moments of practice. Fall through the spine, soft in the shoulders, the hands just rest in the lap. Try and find an effortless and an ease in your breath. So you're not forcing the breath here. Don't try and change it in any way. Just feel the breath draws down and into the body. And draws up and out. Chin slightly tucked. Up through the back of the neck, crown of the head lifting up. Just feel the residue of the practice. It's not the shapes, the asanas, it's not the breath work, it's the residue this practice leaves in our nervous system. As we step off the mat in a moment and into the rest of our day, our lives, Feeling this residue that we carry through from consistency of our practice. Softening and settling into yourself. Take a deep full breath in, breathing in the word let. Breathing out the word go. Hands to the heart space, lift the heart to meet the thumbs, bow the head towards your heart. Thank your body for practice. Thank yourself for showing up. Thank you for joining me today. Namaste.